Today we're doing an Ajio haul. So I have a mixture of dresses and some tops to show you guys. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. First things first, let me just say that in the last year, I have gained 11 kgs. When I started this channel, I was 55 kgs and now I am 66 kgs. So yeah, I've gained a significant amount of weight and I was looking to buy some clothes, but I didn't want to spend too much money. And I'm sure you guys already know that Ajio has some insane clothes. Some of these prices you will not believe and they're always having offers. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything that I bought. When I bought all of these clothes, I went in with this mindset that now I have to dress this new size that I'm at. So what you'll notice is all of these pieces really flatter my new body and they don't make me look very heavy. I'm hoping this video is helpful because whenever you look at a website and you look at the models wearing the clothes they look good in everything but what if you're packing a few extra kgs like me and what are the clothes gonna look like on you hopefully this video can help you out just to give you an idea i'm 5 7 ish and my weight is currently 66 kgs so yeah with all of that out of the way let's talk about the first item and it's this blue dress so this is like an a-line dress it's like a shift dress. I wasn't sure about the sizing, but I picked this up in a size small. I thought a medium would be better for me. So I was like, let me just take a chance and buy a small. But to my surprise, it absolutely fit. And I was very happy with my decision. Thank goodness I didn't size up. I paid 271 rupees for this dress. And it has this really pretty detail on the arms. So it's like a bell sleeve. And of course, I'm gonna insert footage of what it looks like on me. Let me tell you something about this dress. It is so flattering if you have a little extra weight, especially around your waist. When I was buying this dress, I wasn't really sure because I was like, what if I look like a sack of potatoes in the dress? However, the exact opposite happened. It's also a very pretty color. It's really, really flattering. I can dress this up or I can dress this down. If I'm running out of the house and I have like an errand or a chore, and let's say I want to look somewhat presentable, but I don't want to dress up too much and I don't want to put too much thought into it, then I'll just slip this dress on, wear a pair of white kids and I'm done. And let's say I'm going out for a brunch or something like that, then I can easily dress this up by pairing it with a nice pair of heels and that's it. You just look and feel so super put together. That is one thing that I absolutely loved about this dress. I can't recommend this enough. So the next item, this is also like an A-line dress that I bought with no belt or no waist. The good thing about this, the best thing about this is that it has pockets which are super convenient. I don't know why more clothing brands don't give us dresses with pockets because I feel like they're so functional. All right, so this piece, this is pretty similar shape-wise to the last dress that I showed you. However, I made the mistake of picking this up in a medium and I feel like it's a little big for me. But it's fine. I can dress this up in so many different ways. I'll insert some footage of how I decided to style this so that you get some ideas. Since it's a black dress, my first go-to was of course pairing it with red. And that's a decision that I do not regret. However, you can pair this up with so many different things. You can color block this with blue, you can color block this with green, purple, yellow, whatever you want and it works because it's black. So this arm is a little shorter and it also has this bell 
sleeve happening but it's like a shorter bell sleeve and I also feel like the length is pretty flattering so I really like this dress if I had to go back in time I would have probably picked this up in a small I feel like it would be a little better for me that way but it is what it is I don't regret it it's a really nice piece and I'm gonna wear this so frequently in fact during winters I'm gonna pair this with a beret hat and it's gonna look so cute all right so the next top this is a peasant top I paid 203 rupees for this and for this price I feel like this top is so pretty again it's a peasant top which means that you can wear it on your shoulders you can wear it one off one on or you can wear it like fully off like totally off shoulder and it's such a pretty top so it has these little tassels right here that you can tie up you can adjust the length of the sleeves you can also pair this with like a really nice thick chunky belt just below the bust or what you could do is pair this with a really pretty pair of harem pants like dhoti pants and stuff and the harem pants that i'm wearing in the footage that i'm about to insert that is from amazon i'm going to leave it linked down below i'm not talking about it in detail because that's going to be part of my amazon haul which will be coming up pretty soon So I bought this in a size small and thankfully I bought this in a size small because I feel like this would fit many different sizes even if you were like a medium or a large size I feel like this top would fit you and so I'm really glad I went with a small and I didn't size up and the very last top so the thing about me is if I like something and I feel like it flatters me then you better believe I'm gonna pick it up in every single color out there and that is exactly what I did with this top so this is the exact same top and I also bought this in a size small this is such a pretty top again it's a peasant top and you'll probably need like a strapless bra to wear under this the material is a little thin this is like a crepe material and it's really pretty okay so no matter what i say about this top it's not going to do it justice so i'm just going to roll the footage and you can see for yourself So next up we have this peasant dress and it's a really pretty dress i picked this up in a size medium the sleeves are really pretty they're like again these bell bottom sleeves and you can choose to wear this anyway if you want keep it up and the dress looks like this or you can style it like one shoulder on one shoulder off or you can just have it like a off shoulder dress and it looks equally pretty one mistake i feel like i should have gone for a size small because i feel like the dress is a little baggy on me so maybe i'll tailor this this also comes in red and black but i didn't really like the colors they looked a little dull so i went for this one instead and again i paid 271 rupees for the dress i'll insert some footage of me wearing it but if i had to go back in time and reshoot the footage that you're about to see i would have probably worn a belt because i feel like that would have been a little more cinching on my waist and would have given me a little more definition and it would have been a little more flattering on my body I really like the length of this. It was really nice and I feel like they considered tall girls because with some of the other clothes that you're going to see in this haul, I feel like they haven't given tall girls any consideration at all. So yeah, moving on to the next piece. So the next is this yellow dress. It's like a lemony yellow dress. It's like pretty light.
it gets a little overexposed in the camera, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It has this belt around the waist and I picked this up in a medium size. I paid 237 rupees for it. Going forward, I would probably have the sleeves altered to like there. I feel like that would make this dress a lot more flattering. One thing that I did not like about this dress at all, oh my goodness. So if you're tall and your torso is pretty long, right? Then this, this little belt is not going to hit you on the waist at all. I feel like it hits right below the bust. And that's one thing that I did not like about the dress. So going forward, tall girls, um, this is a little hack for you. I probably would get these little belt hooks removed and I would probably wear the belt lower. Going forward, I'll definitely make this work. You will, you will 100% see me with the sleeves altered because on my body type, I don't like three quarter sleeves. I don't feel like it does anything for me right now. I just feel like this accentuates the weight gain and doesn't do anything to hide the weight gain. In fact, if you guys want like this hack video where I talk about how I sort of accentuate my figure and how I dress now that I've gained a bit of weight. Very honestly, I feel like I've become like a little expert. Very few of you would have actually noticed that I've gained so much weight. But trust me, it's there. I'm 11 kgs heavier. But yeah, if you want a video where I talk about hacks on how to look, and appear thinner then let me know i could make that video for you guys because i definitely have a lot of hacks that would really help especially if you're trying to disguise a little bit of weight gain all right so the next dress i liked it so much that i bought it in two colors so this is what the dress looks like this is such a pretty red dress and the material of this is really really thick and of course i'll insert some footage of me wearing the dress right here stretchy material and so I feel like this dress is something that's gonna last me for a really long time it's not gonna tear and it's really pretty I wish it was like a little longer and another thing is the sleeves I don't really like the sleeves so I feel like the sleeves are really short and I feel like it really draws attention to my arms and the weight gain on my arms so what I will do is add a little bit of lace like black lace over here. If you see, I'll insert a footage of the choker that I'm wearing in this video and that was like a DIY. So I'm gonna take the same kind of lace and I'm probably gonna add here to the sleeves. And then I feel like this dress would be really nice and flattering. But all in all, how much did I pay for this? Again, I paid 271 rupees for it. And considering this is such a thick dress, the material is so nice, it's stretchy. I feel like it's totally a bang for your buck. So you can absolutely go for this. All right, so the next one, this is exactly the same dress. And again, I bought this in a medium. This is also a really nice thick fabric. Um, It's a little short for me, but I can make it work if I'm wearing stockings with it. So I feel like for fall, for winter, this dress is really gonna come in handy. And this is how I chose to style this dress. Again, what I will do is I'll add some lace here. So again, I think I'll go with black lace. It'll feel like an extension of the dress. And yeah, that should work for me. 271 rupees. This is an absolute bang for your buck. All right, so this is the next dress. Now this is a cotton dress. I picked this up in a size medium. And this is what it looks like. It's not white. It's like a creamish color and it has this floral print. These are like red and black flowers. Again, when it comes to this dress, so this comes with a belt. 
but the bust it cuts right below the bust so i feel like if you're a tall girl then you might have some trouble with the sizing because i bought this in a medium it it's a little big for me since it has this belt i feel like it works sometimes when you wear the belt and it's not cinching at the right place then you can end up looking like a balloon so yeah going forward i'll definitely get the sleeves altered because these sleeves are like three quarter sleeves i don't feel like it flatters my body at all in fact it just makes me look like a ball and so what i'm going to do is i'm definitely going to get these sleeves cut i'm definitely going to lose the belt and maybe wear like a belt lower in fact in the footage that i'm going to be inserting right here i just use like this chunky big black belt i paired this with some insane heels and i feel like this dress has a lot of potential To make this work, I'm definitely going to need to take these belt tassel hoop thingies off. and then maybe wear the belt below the waistline and that is going to make this dress so much more flattering but 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 don't let me undersell this dress because i i still feel like this is a really nice dress how much did i pay for it i paid 237 rupees for this dress and i feel like i can definitely make this work in fact again with this dress if you are running out of the door or let's say someone's coming over or you have to go somewhere and it's not like a fancy event it's not like an occasion but you don't know what to wear all you have to do is pair this with like a high pair of heels and then this dress looks very dressy but you can also wear this with some very pretty chunky silver earrings like really big earrings and i feel like this would look so nice because it has like a floral print right so you can really make this you know like make this like an indo western outfit where you know you're like mixing and matching and you have some really nice pretty indian chunky earrings i feel like this would look so nice and would also suit so many different occasions so <laughs> that's that so the reason i got all of these items for such insane prices was because i used a coupon code and i'm going to leave it on the screen right now so my advice to you would be that if you're shopping from ajio then decide to pick up like 8 to 10 pieces because that way if you're shopping for like 8 grand then you'll get everything for like 2000 rupees you'd rather do that rather than spend like 6 700 rupees actually if you use this coupon code and it's always active on their app you'll see that sometimes you can buy like 10 dresses for like 2000 rupees or like 2700 rupees however if you're buying like individual pieces then you might have to pay like 6 700 rupees for each piece and so if you're deciding to shop from ajio then i feel like you'd rather go in with this mindset of wanting to pay like 200 to 270 rupees on each item rather than spend like 6 700 rupees on like one item if you're smart about it that way and you sort of like save up your coin and then place an order then i feel like the price that you pay totally makes sense so this is pretty much everything i bought but before i end this video there's just something that i want to say if you notice that every single video i do there's always like an underlying message you can take it at surface value but if you go a little deeper you'll always see that i'm trying to send a message with every piece of content that i create and with this video the thought process was So what if you've gained some weight? Heck, if I've gained some weight, then that means that you have some fitness content coming your way. But even if you've gained some weight, or even if you're rocking hair that is not day one hair, then you know how do you make the most of it and feel confident and great about it, and also like. you can serve a look if you've gained a few kgs it shouldn't hold you back it shouldn't make you feel like my clothes don't fit and so i don't feel great so that's my message with this video essentially you will get a lot of ideas of how to wear your hair when it's not looking great when it's like old hair and also if you gain some weight then how can you choose pieces that are flattering to your body type So that was pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do more haul videos, sound off in the comments down below. And if you're interested in hair care, then check out these videos right here.